How to how to rewire your garage 101 with Mr. Sutters and Mr. Timothy Tour, your local electrician. Okay. All right, here you go. If you don't mind holding this. So we already drilled out the holes. So you have the camera so you can look at it, yo. So we already drilled out these holes here. Here's your panel, your electrical panel. And you can see there's nothing on the walls. It's bare. That's perfect. Because now we drilled holes to reach our destinations of where we want to place receptacles. So drilled out a nice even line of holes throughout this whole setup. 24 inches high. 24 inches high off the ground above your receptacles. Nice and neat and even. We make sure that we do that so that when we nail back the uh, pegboard or the drywall, we make sure that we do not drive the nail into the wire that's going to go through here. Yes, sir. So I already kind of walked out my, it's 12 gauge wire because number one, we're in a garage and he's going to be running some ellipticals, some machines out here. And, and we want to have 12 gauge wire because we're going to run 20 amps. When you're running 20 amps, you need at least 12 gauge wire, which is usually yellow in Romex. So I walked it out a decent amount of length here, and I'm going to feed it through the holes nice and easy and make what's called loops. So here I go. I start at one end, and Chip might be on the other end there, just feeding me a little slack just in case I get snugged up. So right now we're just going to skip. We're going to skip doing the loops until we're done running the whole thing yet. So, we'll just run it nice and neat and even through each one of these holes here. You're, 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 you should be alright. I should be able to pull it, Chip. Look at that. So, I got to a corner. So, what I do at a corner is I'm going to pull all the slack. So, I got it through here. Through this corner hole, I drilled two holes and they met in the middle back there. There's nothing behind here besides wood. So I drilled two holes, they met in the middle back there and perfectly went through. I'm going to pull all my slack through at one time. So, I'm going to pull as much as I need. Watch your feet chip so you don't get tangled in a trap. I'll pull it to about, about there, bring it back. Bring the wire back here, and then fish it through these holes again, right here, just like that. Once again, we're going to skip any receptacle just for the moment. This is how you, how you rough wire your garage. Just a rough wire here. So, when you pull enough slack for your panel, you want to be able to, we're going to 90 up here, pretty nice, <clears throat> just like that along the wall, go inside your panel. You want to have enough room to go up to the top of your panel, and about enough wire to reach the bottom just to play it safe. And once you need enough to, uh, when you splice it down here. Yep, to pull your loop. So what I'm going to do here is, look, I don't want to pull any more slack from this side because I know I have enough from the panel. So I'm just going to do a quick little knot, just like this, so when I pull, it's not going to pull from this side. I'll pull it from that side. So I start here. This first box here, I need about, let's see, I'm pulling it, like I said, I'm pulling it from the side we started it from. And just like that, you need a loop. So I'm going to feed this wire back into this box here. I'm going to cut it, and that's our loop for receptacles in this device right here about about six inch, look, you want about from your thumb to your pinky amount of wire from the back of your box to the outside of your box. That's a rule of thumb, just about. So I get it, rule of thumb. Get it? Isn't it a rule yeah. of pinky to thumb? Yep. So now we're going to go to this next box here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull from this, that side there, and... See how much we need here. That's a hey, that's about that's about right, just there. There you go. So that's two done out of four so far. And look at this. We're gonna go to the third one here, do the same method. 
Pull a little loop. That seems like about enough right there. Perfect. And on to the last one here. So, without wasting any wire, we know we're gonna cut it right about there. I'll give it a little fold for right now until I go attach my tools. So now, instead of cutting the wires, making loops instead of cutting the wires and making loops here we did it the quick and efficient method so I'll just grab a pair of side cutters or grab a pair of diagonal cutters also aka known as dikes that's a short for diagonal cutters grab a flathead here you want to pop if you look in here you want to pop one of these pop one of these just one that's all we need just pop one of those down here you feed your wire right through here start at the last one and then here we go nice and neat now what about when we have to run it from that direction don't we? later on we can you can fit two wires in one hole okay you wouldn't do you one on each one no nope, you, you can literally fit two two of these 12 gauge wires in one hole okay so yep they're meant they're meant to hold i think a maximum of two wires per hole so we'll go to this next one here take your cutters here and at the end of your loop just want to give it a nice cut just like that and then like i said we're going to pop a hole in here. Just, you know, just pop a nice little hole in here. Just like that. Once you pop it, it'll go down. And one at a time. Going to feed in one wire at a time here. There's one. Nice and neat angles. You want it to look sharp. Your customer. And we'll feed our second one in that same hole there. And there you go. That looks looks pretty good for now. On to our next one here. This loop. So like I said, cut right here, the end of your loop. Just give it a little snip. And pop a hole in this box. Just like that. And go ahead and straighten this wire out. You don't want a bunch of twists or knots in your wire either. There you go. We're going to feed this one. Same hole. So we want to keep the wire nice and neat. Just like that. And on to our last one. Oops, that's my side. Same idea. Put it there. And we're going to pop a hole. Let's see. We'll pop a hole right here. <clears throat> now, this is a double box. This is, yes, a duplex. A du so, this is a, a double gang. It's called double gang. So a single gang is only one box, and a double gang would be considered two boxes. And obviously, a three gang box has three slots in it for either devices. So they're meant for you can either have toggle switches, you can have um, you can have receptacles. So we're going to end up putting in here a quad. This is a quad because you're going to have one, two, three, four, four receptacles right here so two duplexes or what's also known as a quad now we also centered all these boxes in this room in cadence with their interior I, I went inside the home and I did a quick measurement of hey what are their receptacles height at inside their home so we can match them because the you know if you match it just means a lot more to the customer when people notice things like that. So now you'll take a, a, a razor blade or utility knife, because we're at the end of the line here until we hit the panel. And right now I'm only going to show you how to rough wire in your receptacles 
Uh, I'm not going to show you how to wire into the panel for today. That will be a different video. Um, but for right now, you just you take your utility knife. You know, you just lightly score it right down the middle. Right down the middle. Nothing, nothing crazy. Same thing on this side. Just a nice little score. It doesn't have to be deep. Just has to break that yellow Romex right there. So that's how we. Now we have. We take this this cardboard, this paper, this brown paper out of there, and then on both of them. Later on, we're going to clean up our trash as well. I don't want to leave trash lying around. And we're going to cut this excess Romex. We're going to use our diagonal cutters, and we're going to cut right here. If you want to see, see that, we're going to cut right there. We're not going to touch any of the wires. Just cutting this sleeve, this excess sleeve off, leaving us with the bare wires. Same thing for this side right here. So we're going to use our diagonal cutters. And just like that, without touching any wire, just cut this excess sleeve off there. And the next step, when you're roughing in a box, is you can twist your grounds together like so. Just like that. Now see, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use both of these because I'm gonna have two different duplexes. So I can honestly use I can fold this back in, and when I have both of my duplexes there, since they're connected, you're supposed to have a metal crimp to a bonding crimp, which I have. You throw over here, and you just crimp it down with your linesman. So these copper bare wires that are your ground stay bonded. You fold this back up in here like that, and you know you're going to have one ground for each device. And we're going to make tails, pigtails. Out of this so cut it just about pinky to thumb right there same thing with we want them about the same same size here that's your black is usually I'm gonna say usually because not everybody not everybody electrician does the same thing but your black wires are usually your hot wires and your white is usually your neutral now don't quote me on that because this is 12 gauge wire. These are your strippers. So you have a number right here on your strippers that should say, let it focus for a second. See those numbers right there? See how that says 12 gauge? That's 12 and this is 12 gauge <coughs> wire. So what you do here is you, you go, you give it about, I don't know, I'd say half inch to, to three quarter inch space. You clip down on where it says that 12, which it was written down. You can hold the wires with your left hand and then give it a little push with your thumb, just like that. And it slides right, that coating right off the copper. Look, no nick on the wire, or nothing. It just gives you that bare copper. So you do the same thing, same placement for now your next one. You put it on that number 12, which was this second one to the last one. You clamp down, not too hard, just a nice little squeeze. Hold the wire with your left hand, use your thumb. Hold the wire just like that. Use your thumb and just give it a little pop. And look, the coating pops right off. Same thing with your neutral wires here. We're going to do the same thing here. Give it a little clamp. Hold the wire with your left hand. Use your left thumb. Give it a little push. Boom. There you go. You're stripping wire. You're a natural at it. <laughs> crimp. Push. There you go. So we're going to make pigtails for this device, which I'll show you later. But for right now, that's... That's rough wire. On to the next one, same step. We're gonna repeat that for each and every box. So we'll, we'll give it a pause for right now, but for each and every single box that we have, we're gonna do the same exact process to each one. And we'll get back to you when we're finished.